Put on my shoes. Four-year-old Chihuahua Joey thinks he has the right to anything in the house. For some strange reason, he likes to guard things. <laughs> So when he does this with his little lip and his teeth, you know not to go any further because he will bite you. One second. Take the treat. Mm. Ah! And that hurt. It, it, that really did hurt. Tracy and Vince have two very different approaches, from distracting with treats... You either throw a toy or you throw something. ..to confronting him head on. He may terrorise the owners of the house, but one person he respects is 18-month-old granddaughter, Harriet. But for some reason, with Harriet, he will play with her, she can take toys with him, off him, give them back to him, and he loves her. In fact, Joey loves her so much, he guards her with his life. So he's just guarding Harriet now? Yeah, absolutely. Hello. Yeah, Hello, you. Hello. You're not happy, are you? Hello. Nice to Hello. meet you. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet Trace, you. Hi. 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 Hi.
Is that um, right? He certainly takes um, no notice of me. If I tell him to do something, he will just ignore it. Right. And uh, if my husband says to do something, he does it. You got Butty to help with your mum's anxiety. Yeah. What's happened? The idea was. Yeah that um, if I was busy, they would be able to walk the dog. If we were on holiday, they would have the dog. Mm. It just hasn't worked out in the way we wanted to. Ouch. 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 We need to reverse that. Good. Right. So I've seen what he does with you, but I am really interested to see what he's like with your mum. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> No. 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 Well, that's a fight, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and that's a mini version of what you're used to. Oh, yeah. OK. <laughs> that's all right, I've got you. We need to teach Bussy when it's time to play and when it's not time to play. That's what he's missing. Graham believes that the key to bringing an end to Butty's bullying ways begins with setting some ground rules. Mm -hmm. I, I want to focus on this foot biting yeah. problem that he's got. So if he was playing with a toy and you wanted to, to, to play all the more, what would you do? You'd move it about quickly. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, by accident, that's what you're doing with your foot. So as hard as it is, I'm going to ask you to, to stay still and not move your foot when he's trying to go for it. Graham knows that Carol is anxious around Butty, so instead of dropping her in at the deep end, he wants to start with daughter Leslie. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Graham wants to prove that by stepping up and using commands with confidence, Butty will behave just as well for them as he does for the men of the household. Put your hand down and, and tell him stop. Stop. Yeah. Good boy. Good. By standing still and using the stop command firmly, eventually Butty will get the message that feet aren't fun. Stop. Stop. Good boy. Using praise once he's stopped biting them will help reinforce this. Now he's moved away. What do you Good do? Good boy. Graham's next case looks likely to be an extreme challenge. Ow! Graham has battled many big dogs before. No. But has he finally met his match with a haranguing husky hell-bent on attention? He's a handsome husky, all right, but Zara hadn't bargained. He'd soon grow to be 26 kilos of pure pulling power. And as he continues to grow, his complete lack of boundaries have become a huge problem. No biting. I can't have him around many people because he's, he's quite aggressive and boisterous. The jumping up and Sit biting down. and scratching gets you too much it. and it's quite painful. Ow. The dog Zara got to help her gain independence is actually driving people away and making her more isolated. Hello. Hi, Graham. Zara. Hi. Thanks for coming. Oh, you're welcome. So with Adonis already on the cusp of doggy adolescence, can Graham subdue this spirited husky before it's too late? Adonis. And he's actually, he's getting worse and worse, isn't he? Mm, yes, he's quite bad. Does he always do this, then? To everybody. Ow, that really hurts. Wow. He's quite powerful as well with the uh, pushing. So what do you do? I normally just put him in his crate. So you're trying to discipline him? Yes. How's that go? He doesn't like being told what to do. No, no. That's typical husky, really. And it becomes crystal clear just how hard Adonis is to handle. Oi! Off. Go on. Oh, beauty. Hey! No. I think he got me there. Did he hurt um, you or...? Well, he jumped over and he actually caught me lip. Yeah, you know. Oh, he's done that with me a few times as well. He's got no idea of personal space, No. Th ah! Oh. No. Zara, this situation is quite dangerous. He's going to bite somebody, and it's probably going to be you. But if it's somebody else, it, it really is game over, um, because he could be taken away from you and he could be put down. First, Adonis needs a lesson in boundaries, with a clear message that jumping up on people is not a game and will simply not be tolerated. We're going to brush him off to the side. right? Okay. We don't want him to fall over, but we do want him to feel just that bit off balance, because okay. dogs hate it. <laughs> right? oh, OK. Off. Off the other side, look. Off again. Wait for it. Good boy. Come here. You can have a treat for that. Sometimes you have to repeat yourself. Yeah. yeah? Then eventually, <sighs> all right, I'll stop. Okay. When he stops, oh, good boy, have a treat. Okay. 
Off. Repeating the technique, Amorous Adonis soon starts to learn jumping up is out of bounds. But he will get affection and a treat when his paws stay on the floor. But can Zara get the message to sink in? There's a treat. Bring it into tiny bits as you go in. That's it. Adonis, stand here. Yeah, off. Off. That's it. So if he jumps at you, off is good. Off. Push him sideways. Off. Good boy. Good oh boy. Remember, that if you need to, move him sideways, yeah? OK. Wait for it, wait for it. Off. No. Off. Off. No. And look what he does. He sits for three, four, five seconds. I'd give him a treat now. Good boy. For the last two years, Maverick, the French bulldog, has kept his young owners, Hannah and Jake, under siege. Bye. OK, OK, OK. Whenever we try to leave the house, Maverick goes crazy. <coughs> Just will do anything to stop you getting to that door. <coughs> stop. Mav, stop. He'll cry, he'll grab shoelaces and... Yeah, he grabs he'll clothes, he grabs my hair, cos he can jump so high. All I have done is put my hoodie on. <coughs> and this is how he goes, cos he knows I'm going to leave. Every time Maverick senses someone getting ready to leave, all hell breaks loose. That was pretty extreme. He actually bit me there on my arm. Yeah. Putting your shoes on, picking your keys up. Putting a jacket putting on. Putting a jacket on. He thinks, oh, they're getting changed because they're going out. Yeah. Hey, what's this? What's this? We have to throw a treat into the kitchen so that he'll run in, fetch it, and then we close him in. He would do that every time I try to leave the house. Hello. Hi. Oh, hello. You're nice. <laughs> Hiya. Nice Hiya. to meet you. Hiya. You're all right. Thanks very much. Hiya. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is hello, Maverick. Yes. Hello, you. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. He's lovely. Most of the time. Yeah, nice of the, the time, time is a lovely little dog. <laughs> So what's the problem there? You can't put your shoes on, you can't pick your keys up. Right. You can't put a jacket on. And what's he do then? He just goes crazy. He'll charge at the door, jump up at you to stop you leaving. Oh, really? Yeah, he barks at you. Yeah, he barks at you. He grabs your hair, he grabs your clothes. Literally anybody, whether he's known him <laughs> 10 minutes. Of yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I've seen what happens when you leave on your own, Jake. I'd really like to see what happens when you, when you both go. OK. Right, OK, look, I don't need to see any more. That wasn't the plan. I know exactly why it happened. Um, I tell you what, let's um, let's get you cleaned up. We'll yeah. shut the door. We'll start to fix this. We never expect to get bitten. But it does happen. Yeah, it does. It's definitely got worse, which scares me a bit. I can see why they're throwing treats, but actually all that's doing is upping the ante and creating more excitement. And the thing is, he's quicker than them. The stakes couldn't be higher here because he's already hurting people and I can't leave here until I've got this fixed. <laughs>